Well, good morning and welcome to another video. It's Sunday. It's a bit grey and a bit cold this morning. And all that sun's gone, but apparently it's going to be back next week. So today I am heading over, as requested by Dean Titchener in the YouTube comments, he wants me to try Turnhill. Um, I've been up one side of Turnhill uh, and that's pretty nasty, but I've never been up the other side. And I don't know which one Dean meant, so I'm going to take the hardest one on and be brave. It doesn't look very pleasant. I'll put the profile up before we do it, but that's where we're heading now, uh, towards Ham Hill. Here I am, know it's been a while. I was in denial about my love. I'm just thinking it was a really strange light this morning. The sun's trying to peek through over there. A very eerie blue. But I've got these new glasses. <laughs> where um keep using a pair of contact lenses for an hour ride, so I thought I'll get some prescription cycling glasses. Pop the glasses on save the contact lenses for the longer rides when we're back out of this lockdown. So I spent ages last week trying to find somebody that does cycling glasses with prescription lenses that didn't cost three, four hundred pounds or have those ugly looking inserts. But I found uh, the optic shop did me a pair of uh, Oakley sunglasses with normal prescription lenses in and making everything look a bit weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm really low to the ground, but I suppose I am really low to the ground because I'm only a short ass. Probably not the glasses, it's probably just my eyesight, it's now correct. <laughs> As I said the other day, <laughs> the roads across these uh, peat moors are atrocious. <laughs> Picking your way through all the cracks, the dips, the potholes, and all the subsidence. <laughs> Of course, we should also start the day by saying uh, happy birthday, Dale, for yesterday. Uh, 60 years old, you don't look bad, do you? <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna get killed for that. Happy birthday, Dale. was in a club ride this morning because I'd have missed it. <laughs> I was running a bit late. Actually overslept a little bit. I think it's this way. There are bonuses because uh, it looked very grey at nine o'clock. The sun has finally poked out so I might regret putting on these long sleeves. So if you've never cycled here, Somerset really is a cyclist playground. We've got these nice flat moors where you can go out for a nice flat ride. We've got the rolling, the Polden Hills. We've got the nice steep climbs up the Mendips. We're not too far from the Quantox, which are just spectacular. We really are spoiled for riding. It's very rural, lots of quiet roads. And where the weather is nice and sunny, you just can't believe uh, you get to ride here, to be honest. So there are bonuses to not going to Mallorca. Not many. <laughs> We're lucky we can still ride in this country at the moment. stuck to film that speed through bit and this cow's looking at me as if I'm mental. I probably am. I can't believe I'm still on this road. It's got to be longer than Long Grove. <laughs> it's just gone on forever. You might also notice I'm procrastinating about this hill which we are not far away from now. I've looked at the profile. I stick it up here now. There's a little bit of a rest in the middle after the 20 odd percent bit, then it just goes up again. Thanks, Dean. I thought you were my friend. Bloody cyclists hogging the road. There she is. That's Turnhill. Got uh, Ham Hill going up. We all know about that one. It's not a nice one. So over here going up the side of the trees is Turnhill. It goes up and round. But the uh, side we're going to attempt is a bit further round. We're going to come up the other side of it. And that is the nasty side by the look of it. But at least the sun's out. I'll give a chance for those two old codgers to get on. A lot of you won't know that I used to be 86 kilograms. I used to be quite a fat bugger really. 
cycling hills were my nemesis. I used to avoid them. I used to hit all the flats. I madly signed up for the attack to tour one year. Set it as a challenge because I like to challenge myself. I don't like to be beaten, I'm quite stubborn. And I lost all that weight and got down to 70 kilograms. And then I've been flying up hills ever since. I just love the challenge of climbing hills. I go on about it, but I really do like the challenge. The sense of accomplishment when you got to the top, especially if you set a good time. I do like that challenge. It's that competitive edge when you're getting old. I'm nearly 50, that you miss from when, uh, when I used to play football. And, but no, I do love cycling. You know it's going to be a steep climb when you see that unsuitable for heavy goods vehicle sign. <laughs> it's never a good sign on a road. That's the bottom of the climb, we're going up there. This, for you Dean, is Turnhill. Yep. It wasn't that bad in the end. I think the uh, the first bit we got to the junction wasn't nowhere near as steep as I thought it was going to be. That's your worst bit was when you got back to the original climb and it just drags a bit of that last bit. But yeah, it's not too bad. I think it's going to come out that way than Ham Hill anyway. Ham Hill just goes on. That was quite short. So not too bad. Here I am. Uh, thinking where next after we've done one for Dean or Ollie had said Canada Coombe which is a beautiful climb but might be a little bit out of reach for the minute it's just the other side of Weston but the one right behind me going back up into High Ham where we used to be done on the cello sport team now he was a beast that might be a good one morning it's turned out beautiful again incredible from looking at it this morning when it was grey cannot believe that it's got this warm and sunny and once I remember it Mark Taylor messaged me about uh, collecting your egg well done for finding it on the gate top man when he gets funny and says that one no just no behave <laughs> I say, it's a bit slightly disappointing I've seen quite a few uh, riders out today in pairs what are you doing really what are you doing hello hello Jackie Not a care in the world. Anyway, it looks like uh, they've messed up on the route planning again. Another headwind on the way home. Must do better. Must do better. All right, so I tried to just come back into Glasmere now. I decided to do one more climb back up the tour. But we thought we'd give it a go. It's another steep climb. And my legs are done already. Done a lot of miles this week. So uh, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Yeah. 
certainly one as bad as I remember it. Anyway, it's uh, not too bad at all, really. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and uh, click the notification bell and you'll get notified whenever I post a video this week. The weather's looking good, so there might be a couple more this week. And I've got the uh, show with Abby. We're doing a Would I Lie to You, so that should be funny. Other than that, I'm going to go home, rest, edit, eat some dinner, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.